What's going on YouTube? Giasno right here. So in today's video I have an important update to the uncovered jailbreak which has received the beta 50 finally which comes with a lot of stability fixes and of course some improvements. So just a few hours ago Pound Own posted quote uncover version 3.0.0 beta 50 is now out with several fixes and new options. So if you go ahead in here on the releases tab you can get the IPA and you can also see what are those changes in here. So you have to go all the way down in here and as you can see you have the beta 15 here. So it says that it fixes a bug in loading substrate which is actually quite important because the substrate is powering every single tweak that you're running on the device. It says in here add a switch to enable, get task allow on every process for developers and uh, add a switch to set CS debug on every process for developers. This can potentially be very useful for some specific tweaks. Uh, it may even fix some of them. And it says in here add a switch to use SSH only mode on any unbootstrapped device for developers. So if you're just interested in SSH then this is basically going to help it's like just SSH no frills so if you don't want the whole bunch of things that uncover would deploy then you don't have to get them to bloat your device which is actually a very good move in my opinion kind of what my jailbreak or series aims to do update jailbreak resources update the appless cache file for repositories and improve the performance so if you're running an older version like the beta 49 or 48 and so on you should definitely update regardless of the iphone you have and of course regardless of the ios version if it's supporting the uncover because this one seems to provide quite a lot of good things in here including this fix for the bug in loading substrate which is quite a major thing speaking of this pound to own posted quote just manually verify that unrestricted library sandbox patches fully work on arm 64 e devices now arm 64 e devices are basically the a12 devices the iphone tennis tennis max and 10r so progress is being done on that part as well just be patient since it takes time and at this point we're we're waiting for Soric to update the substrate and we will be good to go to have a jailbreak for A12 devices as well on iOS 12.0 all the way up to iOS 12.1.2. But you're going to ask me how can you install the latest version and would you need to reboot and stuff like that because I always get this kind of questions. Yes, in order to be able to update to the beta 50 you have to install it on the device and then of course you have to reboot your phone and jailbreak it with beta 50 so that the changes would take place. Now in order to get it you can get the i IPA file in here, beta 50, and deploy it with CDA Impactor or 3U tools. Now I'm getting reports that CDA Impactor has been acting up a little bit funny lately, so you may want to also check out the uh, 3U tools. But if it works for you with CDA Impactor, you can definitely try that. But then there are also the uh, signing services like Ignition and so on. But these are going through a lot of trouble lately because these actually rely on certificates that sign the applications. And there are some people which are not going to name to not create them any more publicity than they deserve that would basically mail apple and tell them oh this website this platform in here is using a certificate and apple would of course revoke that since yeah they are not using it properly it wasn't meant to sign jailbreak applications and so on and since they revoked their certificate the application doesn't work the ignition application doesn't work and you cannot install the applications from there now this certificates actually cost a lot of money so so it's a little bit of a problem with economics in here it's not only the revokes themselves so yeah it's a very weird approach but yeah you should know that there is this problem here they are trying to keep up with the certificates to add new ones as they get revoked but since that person and probably many others are constantly reporting the certificate to apple it's a pretty serious cat and mouse game at this moment so yeah you should try whatever works for you at the moment if ignition is signed and works you can install from there but if not you will need to deploy the ipa file with either CDA Impactor in your own developer account or with 3U tools. So yeah, that's basically it guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to update your uncover. Very important, fixes a lot of bugs and adds stability. And do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. I am GS Snow. Till the next time, peace out.